everyone. I hope you are always healthy and safe while you are studying. For today's topic, we will be discussing human karyotyping. Let's start! Let us first discuss karyotype. Is an image of the full set of chromosomes of an individual that shows the normal number, size, and shape. It is simply a picture of organism's chromosome. In order to get this image, the chromosomes are examined under the microscope. The second definition of karyotype is that it may reveal the gender of a fetus or test for certain defects through examination of cells from uterine fluid called amniocentesis. When we say fetus, it is an unborn offspring of a mammal, in particular an unborn human baby more than 8 weeks after conception. So, sa pamamagitan ng amniocentesis, nalalaman ang gender ng fetus, pati na kung ito ay normal o may chromosomal defects. At yan ang ibig sabihin ng karyotype. Let us talk about the karyotype of human. We have here a karyotype of male as well as the female's karyotype. Always remember that humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46 chromosomes. We have 22 pairs of autosomes, so from 1 to 22, yan ay tinatawag natin na autosomes, and one pair of sex chromosomes. Same with female, from 1 to 22, it is considered as autosome and one pair of sex chromosomes. So, laging tatandaan, ang sex chromosome ng male ay XY at ang female ay XX. At yan ang karyotype ng human. Amniocentesis. We have here the image of the process and it is a procedure in which amniotic fluid is removed from the uterus for testing or treatment. So when we say amniotic fluid, it is a fluid that surrounds and protects a baby during pregnancy and then this fluid contains fetal cells and various proteins during this process a small amount of amniotic fluid is removed through a fine needle inserted into the uterus through the abdomen and under the ultrasound guidance so 30 ml is enough talk about the accuracy of this procedure. According to Grow by Web MD, it is usually scheduled between 15 and 18th week of pregnancy. At ang accuracy nito ay 99.4%. Minsan, hindi siya naging successful due to technical problems. Halimbawa, hindi makakulat ng adequate amount of amniotic fluid. So, hindi siya nagiging accurate in that way. No one is required to have this test. So, generally, it is offered to older women, uh, 35 and above, those high risk of having a baby with chromosomal defects. It feels really good when we learn new knowledge. Ngayon at natutunan mo na ang kahalagahan ng karyotype at ang amniocentesis, halika at samahan mo ako na suriin ang sumusunod na karyotype. First, the gender of the individual is male. Why male? Because the sex chromosomes of this particular karyotype is XY. The individual is human. 
Bakit human? Dahil mayroon tayong dalawang putatlong pares ng chromosomes for a total of 46 chromosomes. The chromosomal defect is Down syndrome or trisomy 21. Trisomy 21 dahil sa pang dalawampu't isang pares ng chromosomes niya ay mayroong tatlong chromosomes. So, ang normal ay dalawang chromosome lamang. So, ang defect na meron tayo sa karyotype na ito ay Down syndrome or trisomy 21. Example of Down syndrome or trisomy 21. Let's have the second karyotype. The gender of the individual is male. Because of X and Y, ang kanyang sex chromosome. The individual is human because of the 23 pairs of chromosomes. The chromosomal defect is Edwards syndrome or trisomy 18. So, sa pang number 18 niya, makikita ninyo, tatlo ang kanyang chromosome sa halip na dalawa lamang. So, nagkaroon tayo dito ng chromosomal defect which is the Edwards syndrome or trisomy 18. So, kung bibilangin lahat yan, ang normal na bilang ng chromosomes ay 46, pero dahil ito ay naging tatlo, magdadagdag tayo ng isa, magiging 47 chromosomes na ang meron sa particular na karyotype na ito. Example of Edwards Syndrome or Trisomy 18 Third karyotype The gender of the individual is male. The individual is human. The chromosomal defect is Credocha Syndrome. Credocha syndrome is caused by the deletion of part of a short arm of chromosome number 5. Example of Credocha syndrome. Let's have the fourth karyotype. The gender of the individual is female. Female because the sex chromosome of this karyotype is XX. The individual is human. The chromosomal defect is Turner's syndrome. If you will notice, sa halip ng dalawa ang sex chromosomes, naging isa lamang. So, ang tawag sa chromosomal defect na mayroon tayo sa particular na karyotype na ito ay Turner's syndrome. So, again, ang normal na bilang ng Chromosomes sa human ay 46. So, merong 23 pares. So, dito, kung itototal mo lahat siya, magiging 45 lamang. So, meron talagang chromosomal defect. Image of Turner Syndrome. Let us study the last karyotype. The gender of the individual is female because of the sex chromosome XX. The individual is not human. Bakit hindi siya human? Dahil 32 pairs of chromosomes. There is no chromosomal defect. So wala kayong mapapansin na kulang, sobra, o na-delete na part ng chromosome. So, walang chromosomal defect ang specific na karyotype na ito. Kung walang chromosomal defect at hindi human ang huling pinag-aralan natin na karyotype, ano kayang organism ito, Garfield? The organism referred to our last studied karyotype is... The horse. Musai. Hopefully, this video lesson helped you understand the karyotype. Enjoy learning because 
Science Matters. Good day!